I'm Brianna, and this week we are reading Peas Monster. My name is one of a kind. People might think that all ones are alike, but there isn't another one out there just like me. I love to eat banana popsicles upside down while standing on my head. I'm made up of many different colors. I can ride a unicycle, play the accordion at the same time. My feet are so big that I only wear shoes when I absolutely have to. Oh, and when I eat pizza, I always eat the crust first. Who does that? I really like being me, but being one isn't always easy. Sometimes the other ones aren't very nice and they tease me. The purple one who's older than me made fun of the way I eat. She said my colors were weird and she laughed at me. Great big feet. The other one started to laugh at me too and agree with what she said. I felt so bad, all I wanted to do was spend the rest of my t life in bed. Then after that, my best friend Green did something to me that was really mean. When I tripped on the stairs on my way back from lunch, she laughed at me and called me a klutz. I felt so bad when she called me that name it wasn't my fault. My big feet were to blame. That afternoon, when our math test came back, applied, one called me a brainiac. When it comes to math, he like a machine. He sounded all nice, but to me, it was me. When I got home from school, I told my mom how rotten my day was. I hate being teased. It's not fun at all. I'd rather be plastered right into the wall. I'm not going back. I'll do school from home. I don't even care if I'm home alone. Sounds like you've been bitten by the tease monster, my mom said. Dealing with the tease monster is just a part of life. Everyone teases and everyone gets teased. So sooner you'll learn how to deal with it, the better off you'll be. There are two types of teasing, the nice and the mean. You think everyone's against you, but it's not like it seems. You must learn the difference between each kind of bite because not everyone teases, takes away from your life. What's the difference, I asked? Well, said my mom, it's just like math. Mean tease. A mean tease bites is negative and it takes away from your life. It divides you in half and can make you cry. Me and teasing is bullying, and it's not as good, it's not a good thing. The ones that do it are trying to be mean. It's a mean tease bite when it comes from some, someone who doesn't care about you and wants to embarrass you and make you feel bad on purpose. Nice tease. A nice tease bite is positive, and it adds to your life multiplies your strength and your voice that's inside. It can help you solve problems in humorous ways. It can give you through the life on the not so great days. A nice tease bite comes from someone who cares about you and would not want to hurt you or make you feel bad. Nice tease bites are good because they can help you build better relationships with other ones. Purple tease bites are mean and she's trying hard to hurt you. 
She does it because she wants power and she doesn't care what you go through. Whenever she tries to single you out, stay calm and ask her to stop. If that doesn't work, stay out of her way and avoid her at all costs. Purple keeps me in teasing and still won't stop. Then you'll need to go ask for some help. Find a grown up to talk to that you can trust so you don't have to feel like you've, you've felt, felt. Green's Bites was a happy, nice tease. And when she said that you were a klutz, she never tried to hurt you because she likes you way too much. And when she calls you that name, she was laughing with you. Nice teasing is fun and it can help you get through tough times in life, like when you trip over your feet, but a smile and a nice tease can make it through times more sweet. Plaid wasn't me and teasing, he said what he said to complete you for something you did. His nickname for you was harmless and fun. You're a very smart kid and a wonderful one. Just then, my little brother rode into the kitchen on my old unicycle, hanging on to the wall for dear life. He accidentally pedaled into a chair, lost his grip, and went slip on the kitchen floor. What a goof, I said. He looked at me with a tear in his eyes. I'm not a goof. Then he started to cry. Geez, what a baby, thought to myself. I wasn't being mean, I just said what I felt. You always tease me and it makes me feel rotten. I came in to show you how good I have gotten. My mom hugged my brother and made him stop crying. She said, you can do it, just never stop trying. My brother got on the unicycle, grabbed onto the wall again, a dear life, and pedaled out of our kitchen. <laughs> you need to be careful about what you say. A nice tease bite to you can ruin his day. Sometimes when you nice tease, your words go too far. But just to have to realize how powerful they are. How do I do that, I asked. First of all, my one of a kind, just think about what you said. Once others hear the words you speak, you just can't take them away. You can always pretend to look into the mirror and practice your words on yourself. Do you like what you're hearing? Are your words hurting others? Are you saying things that can help? Pay close attention to the look in the eyes of the ones you are talking to. Are your words making the one's eyes smile? Or are you making the one feel blue? Finally, one, when you're taming the teased monster, there's always a laughing tease. Laughing at someone who's never good but laughing with is always the best today i thought about everything my mom taught me about the tease monster my day at school was quite a bit less rotten I tried my best to stay out of the purple's way but when she started teasing me at lunch about the way i ate my pizza i smiled at her with my eyes picking up my tray and changing tables. During art, I made myself laugh when Green accidentally spilled her paint all over my paper when I told her that we could start our very own Klutz Club for one, and she laughed with me. I told Plaid that I would help him with his math if he would stop calling me Brainiac in front of everyone and he promised never to do it again. And when I go 
got home, I told my little brother how proud I am of him for being brave enough to go on a unicycle. I sure hope he doesn't start taking accordion lessons. Now that I know that how the tease monster works, I know that some words are not meant to hurt. It's always a good thing to watch what I say and understand everyone hears things different ways. Teasing not all bad <laughs> and most time it's fun as long as you laugh and not at anyone. Here, want a banana popsicle stick? Here, want a banana popsicle?